Hello everyone, Mathrol here, and welcome back to yet another quest guide. Today we're going to be doing the Watchtower quest. A big part of the reason why I'm doing this quest right now is because, well, uh, in a previous quest guide you heard me talking about clue scrolls. Well, guys, if you want to do clue scrolls, you're going to have to do quests. Simple as that. If you want to do them easily, that is. And also as many as you possibly can. It's just, they kind of go hand in hand because quests unlock areas, which makes everything bigger. But anyway, uh, not to go on and on about that, we are going to go over the requirements first for the Watchtower quest. Okay, so for your requirements, you need 25 agility, 14 herb lore, 14 magic, 40 mining, and 15 thieving. I'm a little bit overpowered for this quest, but I always like being overpowered, so it don't matter to me. Uh, you will need to be able to kill a level 76 monster, you need a dragon bone, bat bone, death rune, two ropes, gold bar, pickaxe, should be of any type, <clears throat> obviously the better the easier it is, 20 gold, uh, clean guam, vial of water, jangler berries, pestle mortar, which your tool belt should suffice, as well as the tinder box on your tool belt should suffice as well. Uh, it is also recommended that you bring a anti-dragon shield because there is going to be some times when you run by blue dragons. So, just in case if anything goes awry, you have that <coughs> in case you need it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Otherwise, like what I'm doing, I'm just going to full, full gear. Now I climbed up on the trails on the outside here, I should show you that before I actually go anywhere further. Because if you try to climb up this ladder inside the watchtower, which is right on the outside of Enil, the guards will stop you, because you're not supposed to be able to go up there, so you have to climb up the trellis, and then climb up the ladder. Why they don't stop you there, I have no idea. So here you can talk to, guess what, the watchtower wizard has a little icon next to his name. So, a little bit of dialogue here. He's asking what you're doing here. Ask him what's the matter. Uh, so they're the ones that keep the town protected, but the magical barrier has been shut down because something had taken away the device that well, powers it. Alright, so ask him again what he needs. The crystals have been taken, so you gotta find the crystals. That is what you need to do. And this quest apparently was released back in 2003. Oh, and the enemy has been scaled down to 53 since this has been done. Uh, again, right here it will actually show the items that you need. Or ground bat bones apparently work as well. Uh, rewards, we'll get to that at the end of the quest. So of course, we want to accept this. All right, a little bit more dialogue. Okay, now they want to find who is responsible for doing this. All right, so we're gonna have to go out here and we have to search all the little shrubberies and stuff around. Oh, I'm not down on the base floor, that's why I can't search anything. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to go around and we're gonna have to search everything. Might as well take this lit candle now in advance. So, we'll just kind of see what is searchable and what is not searchable. <clears throat> Alright, so this is the worst part about quests like these, is just you have to go and you have to search, and you may or may not find what you're looking for. So, if, so far we found an old robe. And there's tons of these little bushes, not even just in this one location, but all around you know. All so, alright, there we got some old armor. Gotta remember to disassemble that. Uh, we got an old dagger now. Some fingernails. There's only one more piece. There we go, the eye patch. All right, so we got all that. Now we have to go back up. 
nice thing about going up that way is it also gives you a little bit of agility XP. Okay, look at these items that I found. So, what do you suggest I do? The caves networks are deep and complex. They say you need to have a way to navigate through it. So it's like, so what do I do? So I need to be able to get fearless and gain entrance to Utanath, the city of the ogres, then find out how to navigate the caves. So I need to figure out how to get into the city. All right, so <sighs> now the fun part of actually getting into the city. All right, so let's go to the direction we need to go to. If you want to, you could take a small little tiny shortcut and just go to the lodestone. Hopefully you already have that since you're already here anyway. I don't think I have to talk to any of well maybe I do have to talk to these guys. Alright, so there's some there. There's more ogres over here. Let's talk to Og. Alright. <clears throat> I seek entrance to the city of the ogres. Okay. So I gotta go to the southeast, the chieftain who is Tobin, and he wants some gold from the person who did that. So now we gotta go ahead and do that. Let's swing across here so I can talk to Gru. Okay, apparently I need to do it this way. And it makes sense. Just a little annoying. Of course, rope swing breaks. Let's talk to Gru. Alright, let them know. Don't eat me, I can help you. Mighty Adventure, Magical Powers. Find Gorad. Alright, so now we got what Gru wants, we have what Go wants, so now we need to go and get what they need. Okay, so we need to go to a small island south of Neil. And what we will need to do is find our way there. Now, if I remember correctly, a long time ago, while well, 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 I'm here, let's uh, let's get some of my prayer here back. There we go. So, this is the island I need to be able to get to, right over here. There's Tobin, and I'm assuming Gorad is around there. Some, yeah, there's Gorad. Alright, so I can't cross a broken bridge because, well, it's broken, and it's broken quite badly. But if I remember correctly, what you have to do for this part of the quest is to come all the way around the island, <coughs> well, the uh, ogre city. I really wish they would do more with the ogres. Cause this part is so cool but it feels like it could be so much more all right now we're here so now we talk to go red all right threaten me with force I will get you with force so this is probably the guy that we have to fight obviously most things you could probably avoid but this one I have to fight all right so I got his tooth, got that one's gold, Let's 
seek entrance to the city of ogres. I could do something for you to help me get in. Alright. Well, I already have that on me, so yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so I got one piece of the statue. So, now I need to get back over. Alright, so from what I'm thinking, there's only three pieces of the statue that I need to worry about. And why am I walking when I can just do this? Alright, now we're back. That is why I love the load stairs. You can always just take them as a nice little shortcut. That's relatively cost efficient. Alright, use the rope with this. That's why my guy walked closer so I could use the rope. Alright, let's talk to Gru. Here's your tooth. We also got one of the crystals, which is fantastic. <clears throat> Alright, there's Aug. Let's talk to Aug. Let's see what he all gives me. There's your gold. Alright, so I need somebody with experience experience to be able to make it. So now I need to be able to get in and make the statue. Alright. So we're going to have to, well let's see if there's any th new information with the ogres, or the, not the ogres, but the wizards. Alright. Well, so far it's looking like I have a deal with all of them. Yep. Oh. Because it didn't load the next tile, I can't do that that far. But, this will help out. And now I will have one of the crystals. I forget how many crystals. I want to say there's four crystals in total. Uh, let's see, can I use that yet? Yes, I can. There's a little underwall tunnel. Go ahead and use it if you can. A little bit of a shortcut for you. <coughs> so, let's see if we can just... Oh. Yeah. I get to come up here now. Hey. Alright. Let's talk to this guy. Ah. Alright, let's use the crystal with the wizard. Yeah, there is four that he needs total. And I guess I have to keep a hold of it until I have all four. So now we need to get into Gertenoth. The Uga City. Which this will be quite interesting doing. Ah! Alright. <coughs> we shall head on up <coughs> to the Ogre City. Because now I should be able to have gained entry in order to get into the city. Because now I have a statue. I just can't use these caves that are all around it yet. Because I don't have the map to get to certain locations. So, open city gate.
All right. So now we're in. Okay. So now I am here. There, there's the ogre chieftain. I wonder if I can actually just steal that. Because uh, one of the things I do need to get is I need to get one of these. And apparently I can just steal that. Uh, their shops, not exactly anything extravagant. I just figured I'd show you guys what they have. <coughs> oh. Well, apparently that merchant's kind of a prick. So that one has a little bit of her blur supplies. This is going to be like the only notable thing is that I have new packs. Uh, but yeah. So, got a rock cake. Not going to eat it. I do need it for the next part. Okay, so I need to go to the. Well, exit the marketplace of the West. Um, and I need to go. Okay, it's not the cave uh, turns. I think I have to follow the bridge yet. Which is just a little bit of a pain in the butt. This is all for clue scrolls, too. I think I have to get to the end of this in order to get to the scavid. But I am from the Vogers. What do you want? Alright. Make sure you use it with the ogre. Alright, he's happy. Now we are through. <coughs> yeah, I think I have to get to this cave right here. So let's jump this gap. I think that's all I have to do. <sighs> pay 20 gold which isn't bad okay I seek passage into the scavenged caves okay Got to answer a riddle here. It says, I want you to bring me an item. I will give you all the letters of this item. You work out what it is. My first is in days, but not in years. My second is in evil, but also in tears. My third is in all, but not in none. My fourth is hot, but not in sun. My fifth is heaven and also in hate. <clears throat> My sixth is in fearing, but not in fate. Uh, my seventh is, is in plush, but not in place. My eighth is in nine, but not in eight. My last is in earth, and also in great. My whole is an object that magic will make. It brings rack and ruin to all in its wake. Now, how long, I wonder, will this riddle take? I believe that sounds like a death rune. Because I know I needed a death rune in order to even do this. So, just making sure I double check this. And yes, it is a death rune. <coughs> Alright, so I got the scavenged caves now. Well, I got the map for the Scava Caves. So, now that I got that, I can follow the path that leads to the south east, which is this path out here, so I need to get back out of here in order to get to this cave to get to my goal. All right. <coughs> mm -hmm. 
But I think I have to get into this cave, but I have to be able to navigate my way around to properly go into that cave without coming out one of the other caves. Alright. Ow! Alright. You could have just told me that from the beginning. Seems kind of weird that I had to have the statue the one way. I thought that would have been perfectly fine, but hey, let's give him gold. Alright, prick. <laughs> Alright. Now, I have the map. Oh yeah, I have the map. Why would I have to go this way instead of going into that cave over there? I think that's the cave I need. Uh, all right. Well, that's how he got in. All right, let, let's see what that unlocked for the quest. So now I just need to search the scavenged caves. So I searched one now. Why I had to go to that one. I have no idea. Well, while I'm out here, let's go to these other ones. Just want the nightshade. They obviously do not speak English. Alright, this one, <clears throat> there's his fingernails and bones. Figure I might as well check all the caves as I'm heading there, in case there is something I need to know. Uh, I just noticed there's no point in talking to the scavid because, well, you can't understand them. So up next, let's go through this city gate. <sighs> yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have to tell me I can pass every single time. Alright, so I got a feeling I got to get these guards to go away. So let's use this. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you don't gotta fight me. Okay, so... Okay, apparently I have to go to every single scavenged cave. Which seems a little silly. Actually seems very silly. <coughs> Unless I have to go... Unless I have to... Well, let, let's go to this one. I'll, I'll keep trying to talk to each one. We got a scared scavid. Oh. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna hurt you.
All right. So apparently I just needed to talk to that one first instead of any of the others. Which, why that makes sense, I have no idea. Let's talk to this one now. <coughs> Kerr? So the scavid understood me, but I didn't understand the scavid. So I know there's another cave over here. Let's see if this cave is of anything important or not. Tangeth Gore Ig. Tangeth Gore R. Tangeth Gore Nod. Nod Gore Nod. This is all in preparation, this way you can actually uh, understand them better later on, I guess. <sighs> so I actually did have to talk to each one of these. And there's more dialogue than I thought. Corker, this one I want to say is R. RR Kerr. So I just need one more, which is should be Ig. Ig. Ig begeth Ig. Let's take this other nightshade just in case I need it. Okay. So. Let's go. Let's see what this says. Now, this is just saying about going to the scavenger cave, so. <clears throat> so, let's go back to the mad one. Because that is the only one that is left. Yeah, it's the only one that's left. Because I talked to the one out here, talked to these three here. So that got me a total of four sayings. Alright, let's go into this cave now. Talk to the mad guy here. Kerr Tenneth Gore. R. Kerr. Uh. Tenneth? Oh my god. Kerr Tenneth. Kerr. No. Gore Nod. Tanith. I want to say Tanith. Ah! Alright, so now I got two of those. <coughs> now I should take this way out. So now I need to talk to the Watchtower Wizard to see what I can't learn. About the shamans that are an upcoming issue for me. So you use the shortcut if you got it, of course. Well, if you have the level for it. Climb one up here. Talk to the wizard's tower dude. Okay. I'm now ready for shamans. Alright. Alright.
So, dragons and shamans. So, what I will need to do is do this. Alright. See, there should be more to it, but it's one of those back and forth kind of quests. Of course, again, if you have it, use shortcuts. I will always use the lodestone over walking, even if it is only a little bit. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff here. Hmm, this is deadly for its description, that's interesting. Okay, we just got a little bit more here. This quest shouldn't be too much longer. Proceed regardless. Regardless. <coughs> Alright. There's a shaman, there's a blue dragon. That's not that bad. Alright, so there's the magical device that I have to deal with. Uh, let's get this shield up. Okay. Okay, so I have to go through the cave, apparently, and exit it. That shaman is only a level one, and it killed a dragon like nothing. But that is the Rock of Delgroth. That's the one I need to be able to get to to get what I need. So, we're back here again. And all I have to do is get to the Wizard's Tower to see how I can actually take care of them because obviously they are super uber powerful. And go from there. Climb up here. Uh, there's the wizard. Okay, so collect guam leaf, add some jinger berries, and mix in some ground bat bones. Okay, so. Okay, it's just make sure you right click to do that. Okay, so I need to add the Guam first, then the Jenger berries, and then the ground bat bones. And I'll talk to the wizard. Okay. So, <clears throat> now I should be able to defeat them. I need to kill six ogre shamans. You know what, I'm already walking this way. I might as well just finish walking the way around it. So... Oh, my guy was hallucinating. I was just like, um... 
Which one of my things has... Oh, the legs have hallucinations. I got you. Alright. So we have multiple nightshades, so that's good. So I don't have to worry too much about always having enough. Because I don't know if I'll need to keep using these each time I go to gain entry to the cave. But we will use it anyway, just in case. <coughs> yep, probably actually had to. Okay, so now I have... I don't know if I have to attack the ogre shamans or just sprinkle. I guess I just gotta sprinkle them. Wait. I have to kill shamans, not chieftains. That seems uh, really super effective. It's actually kind of disturbingly effective, actually. There's another one down. <clears throat> There's another. So now that I killed all the, well, I got rid of, well, that's good, yeah, that's all the ogres. So we should be able to mine this now, get the last crystal we need. Yep. And with that, we should be able to get the watchtower back up and running. And that should actually be it for the quest. It's not an overly long quest, but it takes a little bit of time. Uh, if you're somebody who likes to read all the dialogue and you really love lore, I would, you know, always, uh, you know, take your time with these quests, of course. I don't fast forward through my quest guides, so you can always easily catch back up to where I'm at. And actually listen for the parts that you need to go to, so. This way you don't have to worry about like, okay, I gotta stop at this point because it's fast forwarded and blah 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 blah. Alright. <clears throat> Got everything here. Talk to the wizard. Yes it did. Uh, you, you, you really... Oh, the pedestals. Oh my god, I actually have to find the right crystal for each one. This is actually a little annoying. <laughs> I love Jagged's details, uh, or, you know, attention to details like this, but sometimes it's just like, you've got to be kidding me. <clears throat> Alright. Throw the switch? What switch? Oh. All right, now the quest is actually have been completed. So we got four quest points from that, which is actually quite substantial. 15.25K magic XP, 5K coins, 
Watchtower Teleport spell I now have access to, and also the Utenith and Ogre Enclaves, which is actually really awesome. That actually just gave me over 200 quest points also, so that is really awesome for me. Remember, you can always read your spell scroll. This way you now have that actually unlocked. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, later guys.